the graph which does not contain any loop. Now question is how will you draw a tree? You can draw a tree by removing some branches from a graph such that the new graph will not contain any loop. Now I am drawing a graph. Say this is a graph. This is node A. This is node B. This is node C. This is node D. This is node E. And this is node F. Right? I am giving the orientation like this way. Say, like this. The branch A and B is named by number 1 between B and C named by number 2 between C and D is named by 3. This is 4 between E and F by 5 between F and A by 6 and between D and E by 7. Now we will draw a tree from this graph. But before drawing a tree from a graph, we have to keep in mind some point. Say this portion is for graph and this portion is for tree. Number one point. If the graph have in number of nodes, the tree will also have in number of nodes, right? That is the number of nodes of the graph and the number of nodes of the tree will be equal, right? Number two point. If the graph have n number of nodes, the tree will have n minus 1 number of branches. That is, if the graph have n number of node, the tree will have n minus 1 number of branches. This is branches and this is nodes. Right? Number three point is tree will not contain any loops. Will not contain any loops. So before drawing a tree from the graph, we have to keep in mind these three points. Right? Now I am drawing a tree from this graph. So first point is the number of nodes of the graph and the number of nodes of the tree is same. So first I am taking all the nodes for drawing the tree. This is node A, this is node B, this is C, this is D, this is E, this is F. Now I am connecting this 
this, 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 like this. See, in this graph, there are no loops, right? Now I am taking, now I am counting how many branches are there in this tree. Look, one, two, this is number four branch. This is number 5 branch and this is number 6 branch. That is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. In this tree, we have 5 number of number of branches. Now, I am counting how many number of nodes are there in this graph. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is in our graph, there are six number of nodes and in our tree, there are five number of branches. That is, if I have already told you that if the graph have n number of nodes, here n is, here n is six. In tree, there will be n minus one number of branches, that is six minus one number of branches. That is 5. Here, in this graph, we are saying that here is also 5 number of branches. That is 6 minus 1 number of branches. And this graph is containing n number of nodes and n minus 1 number of branches. And, and we are also saying this, this graph is not containing any loop. That means this is a tree of this graph. Right? Now, I am showing you another thing. That is, again I am taking these six nodes. That is, one, two, three, four, 5, 6, this is A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay? I am connecting this, this, this and this. That is, here we have one, two, this is seven, this is five, this is four, giving the orientation like this, what will be in the graph, like this. Here, in this graph, we are seeing this, there are also no loops, right? Number of notes. 6, n equal to 6, same as this graph, number of branches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that is branches equal to 6 minus 1, that is 5 and this will, this is also not containing any loop, that means this is also a tree of this graph. Right? I am showing another one tree of this graph. Like this. First, I am taking all the six nodes. That is A, B, C, D, E, F. Like this. Like this okay look in this graph number one 
this graph is not containing any loop that is no loops number 2 number of nodes of this graph is 6 number 3 number of branches of this graph is 1 2 3 4 and 5 that is 6 minus 1 that mean this is also a tree of this graph that mean we can tell from a graph we can form many number of trees depending upon the number of nodes and the branches present in the graph thank you